Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and we're back with another very simple quilt block. I'm making this block again for my quilt gill. We are doing optional blocks, so I am trying to get them caught up for the entire year, our entire membership year. So this time we're working with black and white prints. They asked that we use a white print with black and then a black print with white. And from both of those prints, we are going to be cutting the exact same fabric pieces. So from each print, you want one piece that's four and a half by 12 and a half. These need to be cut the exact measurement. For the other two pieces, we need a strip that's cut two and one half inch wide from each piece. And it needs to be at least 13 inches long. If you cut 13 inches long, you'll have the exact amount that you need to make this block. Whenever I'm going to do any kind of cross cutting, I like to cut my strips a little longer so that I have room to square up the ends if I need to. So I have cut my strips 14 inches. In. So the first step, very simple sewing here again. We're just going to go sew the strip set together and then I'm going to press the seam towards the dark. I'll do that and come back. I have sewn my seam and then I pressed my seam actually towards my dark print. I decided not to press these seams open. It just depends on how you're going to set these block together and I will let the maker decide how they want to set this block together. So I decided not to press these seams open. Now that I have this strip set sewn, I now want to cut it into three, four and a half inch pieces. So. I want to first square up an edge and all I'm going to do is just place a line on the ruler, any line as long as it's covering my entire piece of fabric. And I'm just going to use that seam line to make sure that I am cutting square. And now when I rotate this around to the other side, I can now cut my four and a half inch pieces. And again, I can use my any line on the ruler to square up. This is two, and my final cut here. Thank you. And I also just noticed that if you're cutting this, I will make sure that I put the correction on the screen. And you were using just your regular strip sets, they need if you were cutting just a burn minimum, it would have been 13 and a half, not 13. But I actually cut 14. So the next step is that we need to sew these units back to each other, but we just need to rotate one. So if we just cut this off of our strip set, all we need to do is just rotate one of these. And now we're going to sew these back together. We just want to make sure that we alternate that one in the center. I will do that and come right back. I'm back with the pieces sewn together. So I have them all in one strip set. And I just press the original seam toward the black fabric. And then when I press these reconnecting seams, I just press them away from center. It doesn't really matter because there will be no seams crossing that. So... Once we get those pieces sewn back together, we want to bring in our two pieces that we cut four and a half by 12 and a half. And where you have the light in the center, 
you want to put your dark fabric and where you have your dark fabric in the center you want to put your light so you're kind of making a mirror block which is the name of the block so I'm going to go sew these pieces together and then I will be right back here is our completed mirror block it should square up to 12 and one half inches unfinished and when it's sewn into a quilt top it will be 12 inch finished I'm going to also add some EQ layouts on how you could use this block as well and I thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.